Quan, I know you certainly haven't gotten the results that you wanted thus far in your UFC career. So right. just give me kind of what the what the mindset has been like through this through this start. Um, I mean, since the beginning, man, I've just been taking a bunch of fights, man. Uh, a lot of my fights has been uh, out of my weight class at short notice, but uh, this is like the first fight that I've had that is that is full camp, you know. So I'm, I'm excited to actually show my true potential. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that because you know the the last time I thought the turnaround was so quick, and I understood like maybe you were frustrated and just wanted to get back in there. Was this a, like a conscious decision to go, hey, we can't do that anymore. We got to take a little time and, and and give ourselves that luxury of preparation. Yes, yes, actually it was, man. I just decided to stay in my own lane and uh, let's let's go ahead and get myself a a full a full camp. Was that a tough mindset? I mean, I know you've been around the game for a long time, so was that tough for somebody to get to you and be like, hey, man, at this level. You don't get to do those things. You got to take it a certain way. Was that tough for you to go? Yeah, you're right. Yes, because me, where I'm from and how I grew up, I was never one to turn down a fight and never one to back down from anybody. So it was more of, you know, I got to learn to play chess and not checkers. Who was it that got in your head that said that they, they got the sense into you? It was my head coach. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, listen, between then and now, it's been a crazy time, crazy for your family, uh, of course. Um, real tragedy was there any thought of I mean I know you're building towards all of this to say I, I, I can't I can't compete um at one point I thought about it you know um originally it was supposed to fight September 12th but uh some things that you know due to the, the the loss of my brothers it you know put me out of the loop for a second um I had to find myself get my mind right and uh at one point, it was more of me saying, like, I don't want to take the fight. I don't need to take the fight. You know what I'm saying? I just need to give myself some time to grieve. But I, then I thought about, like, what my brothers want, you know? And I end up having to just, I told myself I'll grieve later, you know? Fair enough. They match you up with a, with a tough guy, right? I mean, I know you know at this point you probably don't, you don't get to select anybody. You just take who they give you. So when they give you the name, did you know anything about them? What, 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 what was the thought? Didn't know nothing about them at all. Nothing about them. I mean, a young under, undefeated prospect. So, I mean, I'm sure, like I said, in general, I mean, odds is probably stacked against me. That's fine. I don't care. I like it. So, do you go in there with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder maybe? Like, hey, man, I see what they're trying to do here. They're putting me up against a young undefeated guy. Well, I mean, the way I look at it is like this, man. I mean, like I said, I'm over 3 right now, you know. Um, what's the best way to get my name back in the loop? Fight somebody who's a un young, undefeated prospect that all eyes is on him. So if the eyes is on him, you know, the big guys is watching, I need to bring some attention to me. For sure, man. So I think it's a lot of things for me. I mean, what is the goal here? Like, is it just about we need to go in there, we need to pick up that first win, you know, prove we belong here? Or do you feel like maybe you got to do it with a little bit of style points as well? You know, you got to prove to the world that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm better than maybe what you thought I was. My goal is to go out there and get the W, man. I just, you know, um, go out there, show some experience, um, and just, you know, my back's against the wall, man. So, you know, it happens when people's back's against the wall, they attack. So I'm going to go out there and really show my, show my true potential as to why I was signed in the first place. Very much. You mentioned you don't know anything about this guy and you just know about his record and stuff. Is that, do you prefer that when you're fighting a guy you don't know anything about? Because if you know something about them, you might start thinking about planning for that specific thing instead of just focusing on yourself. Well, I mean, I know the basics, but in the end, I don't focus on what he can do. I'll focus on what I can do. You know, um, it's a good idea to know certain things about him, but if I get my head wrapped up into what he's capable of, sometimes I forget what I am. Does a little bit of that also have to do, like, in, in this time, this turbulent time, like, you could sign a contract, and then you could go through two opponents, but say he tests positive, like, he can't get into the country, something like that. Is it challenging at all to even try and plan, like, past a week rather than, like, a full flight camp? Like, yes, yes, because, I mean, I could have a, a guy that I'm training for that's a straight wrestler and go to wrestling camps, prepare for nothing but ground, and the next thing you know, they put me against a, a top level striker, Southpaw or something. So, yes. How do, how do you get, get through that? Like, when you sign the contract, I'm sure you're hoping you get through this full fight camp. Is there any part of you that's like, I should probably prepare for the worst case scenario, too? Um, sometimes, man. I mean, truthfully, man, I. I've been in, I got so many fights under my belt, man. So it's it's nothing that I haven't really seen before. So I just learned to call audibles, man. Just, you know, 
make sure that I, you know, I touch up every little aspect of my game. Daquan, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Good, man. Talk to me a little bit about uh, your nickname, the Tarantula. Obviously, we've seen the spider, but what's the story behind the Tarantula? Well, I mean, they gave me this nickname a while ago, man. It's just pretty much long. I used to fight at 170, you know, and 6'4", long reach, long legs, you know, knockout artist. It, you know, I, I developed a nickname back in the day um, when I was uh, out here just beating up like people, so, you know. Thank you. All right, all good? All right.